Today, we're diving deep into the lives of some of your favorite players. It's not all about the goals and trophies. There are stories print into every jersey, stories that don't make it to the headlines. Let's start with Virgil van Dijk. Now, we all know him for his stellar defense on the pitch, but have you ever noticed something peculiar about his jersey? No last name. Virgil makes a powerful statement every time he steps onto the field, a statement about family. There's a feud brewing in the Van Dyke household, a chapter that dates back to his dad, Ron Van Dyke, walking away when Virgil was just a kid. The pain runs deep, and the absence of a last name on that jersey speaks volumes. Next up, we've got Deli Ally, born into chaos, raised by an alcoholic mom, and shipped off to Nigeria to live with his dad. And then the unexpected turn. At the tender age of 13, when he decides, nah, I'm done, and meet Alan and Sally Hickford, his unofficial adoptive parents, and he even ditched the alley on his jersey for good measure in 2016. Moving on to Memphis Depay, a player with a tail that's as elusive as his on-field moves. Allegedly abandoned at the tender age of four, he took a bold step in 2012, stripping the Depay from his jersey. But here's where it gets interesting. His dad, Dennis Depay, denied the allegations, claiming he was very much present in his son's life. It's a story of conflicting narratives, leaving us with more questions than answers. Now let's talk about Mario Balotelli. Born as Mario Barwa, he faced health issues that set the stage for a unique journey. The Balotellis, Sylvia and Francesco, didn't just open their home, they open their hearts to him. Mario, in a gesture that tugged at heartstrings, not only adopted their last name, but dedicated goals to Sylvia, his adoptive mom. What's intriguing is Mario's conspicuous silence about his biological parents, as if that part of his life has been sealed off in a vault of memories. Now shifting gears to Ainsley Malin Niles. He grew up with his mom, Jules, and his brother, Cordy. Ainsley doesn't seem to be feeling the love for his mom anymore. Because in 2015, Jules got into a big fight with the head honcho negotiator at Arsenal, and she ended up getting arrested. But when she got back, her sons pulled a disappearing act, leaving her to fend for herself. She had to sneak into a cold warehouse every night just to find a place to sleep. It looks like everything fell apart when Ainsley hit about 20. Moving on to the Hernandez brothers. Lucas and Tio, their dad, Jin Francois, a former pro footballer, pulls the ultimate dad move, divorce and disappearance. In Lucas's words, he left because he did not love us. It's a family story that's been on pause for nearly two decades. The silence is deafening. Lucas, in his own words, reflects on the void left by a man who, for 16 or 17 years, has been a distant figure. It's a silence that echoes louder than any cheer in the stadium. And last but not least, Emmanuel Adebayor, his life unfolds like a gripping novel. From relentless money demands to property feuds and even accusations of voodoo by his own mom, Emmanuel's journey is a roller coaster of highs and lows. It's a raw, unfiltered look at the human struggles that coexist with the glitz and glamour of being a football superstar. So there you have it, football fans. Football isn't just about what happens on the field. It's about the real, messy, and sometimes complicated lives of these players. That's it for this video. Hope you like it and comment your favorite story of this video. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.